WROI News, connecting you with your local, statewide, and national leaders. This is WROI News. Ninety-two point one WROI. It's time now to take a look at your local news. The news today is brought to you by Ulrich Heating and Cooling for reasonable prices, experience, and excellent customer service. Call them today at five seven four two two three six three zero seven, or on their cell at five seven four seven two seven zero 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 five. And by Wendy's Restaurant, twenty three forty South Main, Rochester. Wendy's is way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. Currently sitting at 55 degrees under cloudy skies here in downtown Rochester. We'll have a look at your full weather forecast a little bit later on in your news. United States Senator Todd Young was our guest on WROI. Since Congress passed a new spending bill last week, which President Trump then signed into law, we asked him what the spending priorities are. It's really grounded in the needs of Hoosiers, focusing on ensuring that every every Hoosier has a fair shot at success as they would define success. You know, a lot of this is focused on people of more modest means or working Hoosiers who wonder whether they're going to be able to keep their job several years from now as technology changes so quickly and as as competition increases, whether their kids are going to be able to get the sort of education they need in order to realize their dreams. They're concerned about skyrocketing health care costs. So these are some of the, I guess, meat and potato issues that we're focusing on. Senator Young also talked to us about efforts to reform bank regulations. We just passed some legislation reforming how our local financial institutions are regulated. You know, our community banks, our our local credit unions are still relevant to people, whether it's of Rochester or or Evansville. It doesn't matter where you're from. This is who most Hoosiers, you know, historically have been used to banking with, but we've over-regulated them. I say we, those who voted for Dodd-Frank in the wake of the financial crisis. We then asked the senator what about Dodd-Frank needed fixed. It was a typical one-size-fits-all solution to a real problem of making sure these really large banks don't again fail. And we over-regulated the small institutions. So the legislation I supported rolled back these regulations, empowered these banks to do what they do best, which is make loans to farmers and entrepreneurs and dreamers and doers and workers and would-be homeowners and people who want to invest in their, their own education or their kids' education. And it's all built into this are to go full circle here, consumer protections. And again, that was United States Senator Todd Young. The Fulton County Commissioners met and heard the sheriff's report from Chris Sailors, including a discussion on vehicle purchases. Commission President Brian Lewis was our guest on WROI and filled us in on those details. The sheriff had some money left over from last year for one of our replacement vehicles. There's a company down in southern Indiana that sets up pickups for sheriff's departments, so we went ahead and and got a pickup for there. It'll save us a little bit of money going that route because that's all they do. And then he found, I believe, a 2011 expedition, low miles, you know, per se for (laughs) for what they do, um, for $5,000 to replace some of our other worn-out vehicles. And again, that was Fulton County Commissioner's President Brian Lewis. The Notre Dame women's basketball team plays tonight, hoping to head to the Final Four in Columbus, Ohio, in the regional final from Spokane, Washington. Notre Dame, a number one seed, plays Oregon, a number two seed, at 9 p.m. tonight. That game will be on ESPN, and the finals are scheduled for this Friday and Sunday. The Woodlawn Hospital Board will meet in executive session tomorrow morning at 11.30 a.m. in the hospital classroom for discussions on pending litigation competitive marketing, and classified records. Then at 1 p.m., the board will hold their regular meeting, and on that agenda will be the Credentials Committee, Capital Equipment, the Financial Reports, including Claims and Bad Debts, the Hospital PI Summary, Departmental Policies and Procedures, Board of Trustees Bylaws, and the Administrator's Report. Tune in Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. for the Woodlawn Hospital Report with Hospital CEO John Alley here on WROI and WROIFM.com. We'll be back with a look at your full weather forecast after this. Ulrich Heating and Cooling Rochester offers expert sales and service in northern Indiana. Call 574-223-6307 for all your heating and cooling needs. They service all brands and all types of heating and cooling systems. For new heating and cooling products, Ulrich Heating and Cooling is proud to announce they now offer Armstrong Air. 
designed to deliver substantial durability, comfort, and energy efficiency. Armstrong Air is the professional's choice. Licensed, insured, and bonded, that's Ulrich Heating and Cooling. Locally owned and operated for over 34 years. And now for something deliciously different from Wendy's. Wendy's Double Stack is still an option in the 4 for 4. With a quarter pound of fresh beef, four nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's a deal so good it should not exist. Like how owls shouldn't be able to turn their heads all the way around. Who wouldn't like that deal. The 4 for 4 with your choice of a Double Stack, Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, or Crispy Chicken BLT. A deal so great, it's impossibly good, but not for long. At participating Wendy's for a limited time, meal includes four-piece chicken nuggets, small fries, and a drink. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S., Alaska, and Canada. Not valid in Alaska and Hawaii. And again, we are sitting at 55 degrees under cloudy skies here in downtown Rochester. Culver is at 53. The Grissom Aeroplex is at 52. We continue to see cloudy skies the rest of the afternoon. Could see some wind gusts up around 20 miles per hour. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms are possible after 11 p.m., a low around 45. Tomorrow, showers and possibly a thunderstorm, a high near 55. Tomorrow night, showers likely up until about 2 a.m., cloudy after that, and a low around 42. On Wednesday, we see a slight chance of showers before 8 a.m., then becoming mostly cloudy. We have a high near 58 and a low around 42. Thursday, a 50% chance of showers throughout the day, a high near 55 and a low around 35. And on Friday, we see a chance of rain and snow before 9 a.m., then a chance of rain the rest of the day, a high near 47 and a low around 31. Again, 52 degrees at the Grissom Aeroplex, 53 in Culver, 55 here in downtown Rochester. And this has been a look at the forecast for Rochester and all of north central Indiana. The news has been brought to you by Ulrich Heating and Cooling. Find out how you can save on your fuel bills with the latest in heating and cooling products. And by Wendy's. Wendy's hamburgers are made fresh, never frozen, and now open late. For WROI News, I'm Paul Zartman. Do you have the WROI News Tip of the Week? When you see or hear news happening, call 223-6059. If you have the top tip of the week, we'll pay you $10. That's 574-223-6059. 223-6059.